in a lot of countries, there is regulation which doesn't allow us enough specialization or differentiation. I can name some examples, I will. But back to your original question, where does innovation, specialization, differentiation comes from? I'm sorry, that's the US. That's the only country where we all look to. When we looked for RPO, when we looked for VMS, they all originated in the US. Having said that, there are a few things that have originated in Europe. That's PPPs, working together with trade unions, with the government on specific projects, with, all, with maybe subsidized or special funding. That's also a business model and a good business model. So you, you look at different territories for different kind of innovations. Um, Japan, certainly, they have invested a lot in, in long-term uh, flexibility. Agency workers there, temporary fla workers there, work for maybe 20 years in a company. Is that good? Not always. But how to bring those people into your workforce, onboard them, and give them a feel of security? That's where you can look at Japan, in a way. So it's, it's not somewhere is better than uh, other places. We have to keep our eyes open. Also here. Here can, we can see here, well I see here a whole bouquet for me, but I can see flowers blooming too, small ones. And you have to choose and pick them. So then again, there's no opposites. It's looking carefully at each other and taking care that the regulation is no barrier but an enhancer. And that's where the ISFs of this world and the SIETs of this world come in. So one quick thing to, to add, and then we'll get to the next next question. So you you talked about innovation, and uh, Anne-Marie touched on it. E even though when you look at RPO, it, the innovation or the, origi the origin might have been in the US. But I think a lot of the, the answers to the questions that we're asking are here. Because you, you look at an RPO, ask anyone in the US and have them you know, really look at the problem of, I have to hire 5,000 people over the next 12 months, right? You typically have a white guy come from the US with that situation, either their head will spin or they'll black out or something weird like that with that, those numbers. So a lot of the innovation, I believe, you know, I've, and I've lived here now for the last three years, I think a lot of the innovation is gonna come from here. 